Sex it looks, <laughs> it kind of looks like a like a hospital van, like but the word is confusing. It looks unique. A place you can go and get like, okay, I can read a little bit of it. Kind of stuff? More like a strip club or? Uh, it's a sex salon. Okay, so what is that? Is it something connected with these girls that are working here? For many years, there's been a lot of uh, street sex workers uh, in our neighborhood. Around 45% of the street sex workers there are violated. So we rebuilt an ambulance and call it a sex alarm. It's trying to provide better health and security for the street sex workers. We launched uh, Sexual Lungs uh, in October 2016, run only by volunteers and is funded by private donation. We used a lot of time to have very good contact to the street sex workers to improve the design, to make it uh, really fit their needs. The sex workers uh, would like to keep the ambulance uh, chair. Uh, and, and they uh, named it uh, the blowjob chair. Everybody can work on the street who's here legal. It's legal to both sell and buy sex in Denmark but they can't join a union. They cannot uh, get benefits, social benefits. They're not grasped by the workers' rights. In that context, they're more vulnerable. People think less of girls who prostitute themselves, but when you're a street prostitute, they think even lesser of you. I was afraid uh, every day. Many times you get the feeling that people are, uh, just uh, think uh, that you're weed that needs to be removed from the perfect garden. There were about four in situations where somebody tried to, you know, take my life. One of the situations was uh, he grabbed me and he uh, held me uh, for my nose and my mouth at the same time so I couldn't breathe. It's legal to sell sex in Denmark, but it's, it's very stigmatized. The violence against sex workers is customer, but actually mainly by people walking by, like hate crimes against the sex workers. Many people don't know uh, sex workers actually, uh, so they have a lot of uh, thoughts about it. It's on! There yeah. This is the on and off button for the light. Up uh, on the roof, when it's red, the six lungs is uh, operating. The six lungs is parked near there where the sex workers is working, and there's always two volunteers there, and they can act if the sex workers is violated. Sometimes we are four actually, and I think it's the best because then you are two standing at the sex lungs, and you have two people going out telling the women, "Hey, it's open." A really great moment I had was the first time um, I was volunteering uh, at night and actually the first time uh, a sex worker was using the sex alliance. And she came out of the sex alliance with like thumbs up and everything. It was, yeah, it was great. We were just all really relieved.
sex workers suggest that we actually take a small amount to use the sex lungs, but according to Danish law, we are not allowed. Uh, I would prefer that it's, it stays free. This is about creating the, the society that you and I would like to see. It's a safe place for sex workers where they, they can have customers. Customers, oh, so okay. In, this is for that. Is, is it comfortable? <laughs> so this is to help them actually have somewhere safe to do it where they're not going to be stuck in a back alley or that. Well, anything that's going to help the girls if they're, you know, on the street sort of trying to make money, then by all means, yeah. It's quite clean looking though, <laughs> considering, isn't it? <laughs>